Okay, so this isn't a PHP tutorial, but I thought it'd be pretty fun to create something uh, with jQuery since I get a lot of jQuery requests. Um, basically, what this is going to do is we're going to have a simple button on a page, um, and we're going to click it, and we'll have a little scroll button, uh, a scroll header come down, um, and show us some information um, about what we've done. Um, so you can find this on the likes of Twitter um, and some other websites. Now you can't you um, can use it for other applications as well. You don't have to have um, the button on click function. Um, you can also use it for um, when your page loads um, or um, for form validation when you type text. So it's quite easy to use in a variety of different applications. Um, so this is how it works. Um, you've seen this. We've got a background transparency, so we can still see the. Uh, the background um, of the page while we're doing it. This is because I've used a transparent PNG image, um, a portable network graphic image. Um, I've just used an opacity of 80. So if you want um, the background, the source code will be available anyway on the PHP Academy forum. Um, so you'll be able to access um, the code as well as the uh, image as well. So uh, let's get right on to creating the uh, code for this. Okay, so the first thing to probably do is to um, grab the jQuery source code and save it as jQuery.js. Um, basically, the reason, the way I've done this is I've gone to jQuery.com. Um, I've clicked on the download, and this is the minimalized version of it. Um, and I've basically copied that and pasted it into there. So visit jQuery.com to get the latest uh, jQuery JavaScript library. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our index.php, um, and we're going to create the header... Um, basically in the way that doesn't have the functionality so we can see how it works um, as we go and to do this I've got um, a CSS file called hscroll.css and we've also got hscroll.javascript which is where all the uh, javascript code will go the jQuery code uh, in order for us to animate this so I'm going to start by creating um, a simple HTML document with the header oh, and the body Okay, so um, I'm going to set um, my background color um, through this way. You can do it through um, CSS, but I'm doing this um, just for shorthand. So I'm going to set it to 5599BB. Um, and what this gives us, if we just uh, come and preview it, is a nice blue background here, so quite a calming blue background. Okay, so the next thing we want to do um, is we want to create a div called header. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down I'm going to type div id equals header and then I'm going to end the div now we won't need to put anything in um, here uh, the reason why is because uh, jQuery will handle um, that for us and it will put the information or the data that we need in there the message that we're going to display but we are going to be using this space for testing purposes now at the moment you can see I will just well, we'll type something a bit more um, is a message. Um, if we were to come back to our browser, you can see that all we get at the moment is this is a message. So what we want is we want a background um, on here. We want it to come right up to the edges of the um, of the page, um, and then eventually we're going to make it scroll. So what we need to do is we need to um, change our h scrolled CSS file. It's blank at the moment, um, but first of all, I'm going to include it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say link href equals hscroll.css rel equals style sheet and type equals text forward slash css okay so what that will do is that will uh, include our um, hscroll.css um, and it will apply the uh, css to this document okay so we're going to start by creating um, the header div that we've just um, implemented in our page. Now the first thing we want to say is display none and the reason why is because we want it well the, we want this eventually but we uh, don't want to use it at the moment we uh, want to hide the div so it's only active when the button's clicked so this will come a bit later. Okay the first thing we want to do then is position absolute and we want the top to be naught pixels, we want the left to be naught pixels, and we want the right to be naught pixels. So if you we uh, go back to our page, we preview this. 
you can see that it's put right into the upper hand corner um, and also if the text was longer um, and eventually we're going to have our background in there then it would hit the other side um, with a zero um, margin so these are the margin sizes that we're using now um, I've got an image called um, transparency or transparent um, let's just check it transparent dot PNG obviously you're not going to be able to see it but it is in here um, it's basically just um, I've created it in Photoshop it's a white square um, 20 by 20 pixels and it has the opacity of 80 so we're saving it as a PNG so we get that transparency um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that um, as the background image background image URL and then we're going to say transparent.png and you'll see that what happens is when we refresh this we have the transparent background so anything under this if it's a, maybe a background image or anything will still display but it'll only have a 20% opacity because we've used an 80% opacity for this okay so the next thing we want to do is set the height for it so we want a nice height um, and I've chosen 40 pixels um, we also want the border set to naught and this will be a border all the way around of zero so we don't want a border um, in our on our uh, on this div so let's refresh that and you can see that's made it um, a bit a bit more um, a bit bigger sorry okay now we want to center this text and we want to well we want to horizontally align it and we want to vertically align it so it's around here um, and the way we do this is we're going to create another div and this is going to be called text now because we've set the um, height to 40 um, I'm going to create the margin top to be 20 so it's half that size so we're vertic um, vertically aligning it this way um, we also want to set the font size and I've chosen 16 pixels we want the font weight so the formatting of the font to be bold um, the font family I've chosen as Georgia and the line height is 0 px now the line height is basically the height between the start and the end of the line um, the text that you've written so we want this as 0 because we want to position it properly with the um, margin top considering it's half the length of the or half the uh, height of the um, height we've set in the header um, we also want text align to be center so that's pretty easy so we can align the text um, here center but to vertically align it we have to use the margin uh, top okay so let's check that out see what's happened okay so obviously nothing has happened because we haven't included the div um, text in here at all um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our index page and we're just going to put this text inside a div and that's obviously id text and we end the div there so now when we preview it we have our text um, in the center um, we've changed the format the size of it everything um, and it's horizontally and vertically aligned okay so um, this is all very well and good but we haven't animated it we have no trigger to animate this um, so what I said before is we need the um, hidden we need it to be hidden so I'm gonna say display none and you probably guessed this just dis uh, makes the whole lot of it disappear okay so I'm gonna leave it at that for the first part of the tutorial um, in the second part of the tutorial we're gonna create the hscroll.js file uh, JS sorry and um, what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to click a button or place this, this function anywhere on our page and the function inside here is going to simply pop it out and then give it a delay so a delay of a certain amount of seconds and this is all customizable from the function so the parameters that we uh, give it um, are going to display um, the div but it's also going to say how quick does it pop out and the delay um, it takes before it goes back in as well okay so that will be in the second part of this tutorial